Good morning, Levi. I hope you are well. Hello to everyone else in your family. It was so nice to see you and Seth the other day on the Google Meet and way to go on the math from this week. That's so great to see, Levi. So let's get started. We're gonna um, keep some things the same and then we'll do some different things and then I'll give mom and dad some ideas for next week as well, okay? Are you ready? So we're gonna start by counting together from one to 20 and I'm sure you're becoming an expert at this. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this is where it gets tricky. Are you ready? What comes after ten? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. Great job. As you practice your numbers, I know that you're pretty good from zero to 10, but those trickier ones from 10 to 20, then we can add more. We can start going from 20 to 30 and from 30 to 40, okay? All right, let's count backwards now from 10. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Good job. So let's take a look at those numbers in random order now. I'm going to show you a number and you're going to shout it out. Are you ready? Here we go. You got that one. Three. Twenty. Ten. Good job. Twelve. Yeah. Five, six, two ones, eleven, <clears throat> thirteen, fifteen. Good job. 9, 14, 18, 17, 4, Good job. You're right, it's an eight. Good job. Eight. Oh, it's tricky. A 10 and a nine. 19. You're right. Oh, here's an easy one. Two. Here's another easy one. Seven. Sixteen, you're right, and oh, number one. You're right, good job, Levi. Keep practicing those numbers in random order. Mom and Dad, the other thing that maybe you could add in the next few weeks is let's try recognizing numbers like this. How many dots do you see, Levi? Three, you're right. What does this say in the 10 frame? Wait, let me just get it right. How many dots is that in the 10 frame? Three, you're right. What about this one? Can you see it with the glare? One, you're right. 
What's this number? Two. How many in the 10 frame here? So remember that when we fill that top row, we know that that is five. And then we count from five, six, seven, eight. You're right. How many dots here? Four, you're right. So that's another way just to um, add some variety. And then when we get really good at that, um, recognizing them, then we can um, play a little matching game and I have another little activity um, that's gonna come in the next couple weeks, okay? All right, Levi, let's do our one less and one more. Remember, last week we were, we added the one less. So um, let's start with the addition first. Okay, or adding one more. What is one more than a certain number? Are you ready? We'll start easy. Oops. No, not that one. Okay, two. What is one more than two? You're right. Three. Good job. Let's keep going. Seven. What is one more than seven? Did you say eight? Good job. Number nine, what is one more than nine? Did you say 10? You're right. So let's try these now, Levi. Um, maybe mom and dad could skip back in the video and let's try these with two more. So what is two more than two? So you can count on your fingers. You start with two in your head, two, three, four, right? Or you can use the counters as well. Okay, let's try this one, seven. What is two more than seven? All right, and what is two more than nine? Great job, Levi. And then let's take these same numbers, Levi, and let's do one less than, right? So we're taking away, remember? One less than. So I'm gonna hold up the very same numbers. What is one less than two? So remember, you can use your fingers, you can use counters, you can use Lego pieces, you can use your egg carton to help you. Okay, okay, good job. What is one less than seven? <clears throat> Did you say six? You're right, good job. And last one, what is one less than nine? One less than nine. Did you say eight? You are right. Way to go. Keep practicing these numbers, Levi. We want him to start to be really comfortable manipulating numbers from zero to 10. And once he's got that, then we can kind of move ahead a little bit. All right, let's try um, our addition. So remember, we're using our 10 frame. And mom and dad, this week, um, what I'd like you to do is to start using the dice to add. And I know some of the numbers are big and it's hard for him to kind of count the numbers with his fingers. So when you roll the dice, let's say for example, I roll the five and a four, get him to use counters to count that out. 
and then add them together. And the other thing that we could do is we could actually use a dozen egg carton so that when we roll the two sixes, we can count up to 12. So you can use that too. But we want him to start kind of recognizing, subitizing these numbers, which he's already pretty good at, but then taking this number and manipulating some math tools in the egg carton to see how much it actually is. And again, we can use different colors so that one die is one color and the other die is the other color, okay? So let's try some together. Are you ready, Levi? Here's your first one. Four plus three, or four and three more, right? It's the same thing that we do one more and two more. So that addition sign really means four and three more, or four plus three. So let's do this one together. <clears throat> I'm gonna take four and put them in my egg carton. Two, three, four. And then what was I adding to the four, Levi? Do you remember? Four, and what was I adding? three more. You're right. So let's do that. One, two, three. And now you can see my four and then my three more and then we count it all together. So Levi, what is this row when it's filled? What number is that when it's filled? Do you remember? Yeah, it's five. You're right because four and one more is five, isn't it? And then I have two more down here. So five, six, seven. You're right. So four plus three is seven. Good job. Let's do another one. Seven plus two more. Seven plus two. So again, you can use any kind of manipulatives. You can, um, you know, make him do it several ways using the egg carton. Um, counting up with his fingers, good strategy, um, keeping seven in his head and then counting up from there, anything that works. Seven plus two. Good job. All right, are you ready for one more? Five plus Three more. Five plus three. Good job. So remember to use your egg carton, use your manipulatives, and count up. Let's try some subtraction now. Last week we were working on one less, right? And we're going to continue that for a little bit. So let's take a look at the first one. Six, take away one. So let's do this one together. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six, take away one or what is one less than six, just like we've been practicing. So six take away one is five. Good job, Levi. All right, here's your next one. Do this one on your own now. Seven take away one, or what is one less than seven? All right. Great job. Okay, what else do we have? Um, so we talked about the dice. Um, and again, you can use that um, regular egg carton to do that. That's um, pretty straightforward. And I think we're done for today. So keep practicing your numbers, Levi. Keep counting on and using all those manipulatives and your Lego pieces. And... We'll hope to see you soon. Okay, bye.